Yo, you good? All right, which one of you is a player? He is. Uh, good, good, good. And then who are you? I'm the Kyle. I'm the hey, Kyle. Interesting. Two names. I like that. I'm sorry. Who are you again? Uh, Dr. Jacob Rubin, head physiologist. I know you were probably expecting some slick marketing exec who actually knows the game and tells you you're going to be like mine, but I come first. So, I'm told you went undrafted. Is that right? Uh, yes, sir. I mean, I was supposed to go out to college. But yeah, NBA teams, they draft uh, players based on potential, which means they obviously didn't see enough of you. Well, didn't see enough? I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Some players, it's simple. Some players, some athletes are simply blessed with impeccable plumbing. LeBron, Giannis, Westbrook. I mean, even this guy, right? Sure, he reeks of Happy Meals, but I'm guessing, what, 3% body fat, right? <laughs> Did I talk? Yeah, you wish, bro. Here's the thing. You aren't a cop. In fact, you aren't any of the guys that I just mentioned, and you never will be, and that is simple genetics. Which is why every step, every breath, every rep has to be accounted for. And that's where I come in. Look, compared to the average man, every player in the NBA is an exceptional athlete. What I offer. What Gatorade offers is the opportunity for you to maximize your potential, unlock those attributes that can't be quantified by a scout's stopwatch. Look, we're talking about the difference between Steve Nash's career and then Belevin's. Oh, <laughs> exactly. Ah, that's all I got time for, kid. Look, I may not be a fan, but if you're here, that means some very smart people think you've got the ingredients. I mean, hey, facts is facts. We, 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 we all right. Man, you better check your boy, bro. Nah, I know, man. I know, I know. It's all right. Comes in for Tobias Harris. Now, here's AI. He had 25 points in the win against Toronto, and AI throws it down. And that's such solid, fundamental basketball on display right there, guys. You, you talk about it all the time, Greg. Yeah, great use of the pick to set up a dunk. Well, that's a play that only works by practicing over and over and having a great rhythm with your teammate. You could see the timing there. Well, they weren't going to pass up that chance to get out and run following the steal. Clippers trail by six. Everly with the ball. Eight points his last outing, and AI comes to help. And stolen by AI. All going up court. And AI throws it down. And guys got careless with the ball there, and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attack. A terrific anticipation using the hands. How are you not protecting the basketball in that situation? Here's Bradley. 76ers getting the bucket. Amute can't get it to go. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Pushing their lead to double digits. Six points for AI. Has to slow them down on a nightly basis. Now, here's AI. He's got six. Let's go. The shot is good off the backboard. AI's got eight points. Timing issues, but I have to say I like what I'm seeing. And there's Sharp on the assist by AI. And now it's what? Now here's AI. Guarded close. And AI throws it down. Methodical in their approach. They have. I think things may play out the same way this year, too. Here's Muscala. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim that we've heard he's been working hard on his game it just has not showed up yet in the box score Philadelphia leading by 14 here's Chandler one up one down two points with his first shot this game the defense not putting up and AI comes to help Mba Amute and it's AI with the rebound uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter to the middle. Here's Charge. Hasn't it Smith with the assist that time? Charge has got his second bucket. And already with the commanding lead, a terrific offensive performance. And if you check out the strategy, you can see already the plays that they're calling. Feels like they found a weakness or two in the defense. And so it's Philadelphia with an 18 point lead as the quarter comes to a close. Their transition game has been in full effect. We come back right after this out there with Brent. Then it's Mbamute. Then there's Scott. And it's Harrell in at the center. Filling out the middle. Count that bucket. And it's coming. I have the, the kind of luck 
And trust me, there is luck involved needed to get themselves to an NBA Finals. A record six straight playoff appearances for them. Took a series lead, only to be eliminated, and then a lot of frustration set in because things didn't go the right way. Greens. AI outside. Reddick passes to AI. An easy layup after coming off the pick. AI's got 16. You know can impact whether or not your team wins the basketball game or loses it because after a referee makes a determination that you think might be the other way or they don't look at a replay where you're sure and certain that you could get possession. Even though the Clippers relieved him of his title of president of basketball operations in 2017, Rivers has just signed a new extension. 76ers leading by 21. Here's Reddick, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Not a AI kicks to Covington and bead the screen. And the pass to Reddit. AI outside. And Embiid, the bucket on the assist by AI. AI's got assist number eight here in this one already. Key facilitator for your team in the first half. How rewarding is it for you when the offense is that smooth? No, it's, it's good. It's good. You know, I like to be as big a part of the offense as possible. Uh, the more the ball's in my hands, the more I like it. <laughs> Coach told me to get as many touches as I can and to keep the offense flowing. And so far, it's worked out. Great. Okay, David. Quick first step to the hoop, but you can't play too far off him or he'll do just that. Burn you with the J. Now, right now, they're winning because of him. Love. Change the recipe. When you've got that open shot, you got to take it. Here's Embiid, and it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. Now, here's Ayan, defended by Beverly. Embiid the screen. Here's Ayan, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on Marcin Gortat. Five years from now, who do you think will be the best player in the NBA? Five years from now, the best player in the NBA will be... Antetokounmpo? I'm, I'm going to oh, go ahead. Wow. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just say that right now. Do you think he'll be the best... With a screen on Beverly. And beat inside. He is defended by Harrell. Four on the clock. Beyond the arc. And there's Sharks on the assist by Embiid. Nine points for Dario Sharks. Just like to see the defense... Now, here's Ayan. He's tightly guarded. That one is good from Joel Embiid. And the pick for Beverly. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Beverly's got 11 points. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort to date. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. There's the pick. Back to AI. A timely screen gave him a step, and he took it all the way. AI's got to... This is a joke. The lack of awareness is exactly why this team is so far behind. Out to the right wing. Fires from the corner, and it's good off the back rim and in. Right there, really great screen set to give his teammate the wide open shot. Here's AI, and he banks in the layup. AI's got 24 points. They're consistently finding ways to get. And here's Mbamute to the middle. Here's Scott. He gets that one. Scott's got his second bucket tonight. This guy is so tough to guard. He feels like he could take any challenge that the defense is going to throw at him. Jen got it off in time, but it's no good. And so it's Philadelphia. Their lead at 11. Work right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them. And what a beautiful feat. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel. So it's Philadelphia winning this one easily, and the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort.